Welcome to the garden. Today we're in front of the broccoli where you can see that little moth flying around like a madman. These things are the uh, white cabbage moth and cabbage are a brassica similar to this broccoli here and they lay these little tiny white eggs I think we can find one right there yeah that's a good shot there and those hatch into little caterpillars that look like this you can see all those little holes they munch little holes and they eat your broccoli or your kale or your cabbage or brussels sprouts and it's not so bad where we live and actually the wasps do take care of some of the pests but when you see a big juicy caterpillar eating your plants squish them it may seem harsh but look now he's gone so that's how I protect our broccoli from the white cabbage moth I don't do sprays or pesticides it's just not my style. I'd rather have wasps help me out. A lot of people think they're just a nuisance, a wasp, but they are predators to the uh, little caterpillars. This butterflies, or this moth is driving me nuts. But you know, he can do his thing, and he can lay eggs, and they can eat some of the broccoli. But if it gets out of hand, like let's look up here. This piece has been chewed to bits. And that's from a large caterpillar. I mean, look, found him. <laughs> so, sorry to say it, buddy, but your days are over. So I just take a wood chip and do the deed. So it's not my favorite thing to do in the garden, but it's important if you want to harvest your broccoli or your brassicas, like cabbage and brussels sprouts so if you see little holes or big chunks missing out of your plants take a look under the leaves look around for these uh, white caterpillar or those white moths that lay little white eggs and I hope that you give some brassicas a grow so thanks for watching we'll see you next time